In this video, I'll show you how to get to grips with GarageBand for iOS's amplifier and pedal effects. I'll demo how to switch between different amp and pedal models, how to set your input level, and how to make sure your guitar actually stays in tune. You can connect an electric guitar or electric bass and play it using a variety of very high quality amp sounds that combine a guitar or bass amp with one or more stomp box effects. You can adjust the amp controls, add stomp box effects to customise your sound and visually tune your instrument with the built in tuner. To choose a guitar or bass sound, tap the name at the top of the screen, then tap the sound you want to use. You can also swipe left or right to change to the previous or next sound. To switch between guitar and bass sounds, tap guitar or bass. To change the amplifier, swipe the amp to the left or the right. When you play your guitar or bass, a circle next to the input settings button here lights up green to show that GarageBand is receiving input from your instrument. If the circle turns red, lower the volume on your instrument to prevent distortion or clipping. To do this, tap the input settings button, then drag the input level slider left or right to set the level. Bear in mind that the input level slider is only available if your input source, i.e. an audio interface, supports software level control. If it doesn't, you'll need to control your input level on the device itself. To set the level automatically, tap the automatic switch next to the input level slider. To adjust the amp controls, simply touch and turn the knobs to adjust the different parameters and controls. You can use a noise gate to reduce low level input noise when you record. A noise gate essentially cuts off the sound when it falls below a certain minimum level. You'll find this feature very useful if you're working with more dirty, overdriven guitar tones. Tap the input settings button, then turn noise gate on. Drag the noise gate slider until the noise stops or decreases to an acceptable level. When an electric instrument or audio interface is connected to your iOS device, a monitor switch appears below the noise gate controls. To adjust this, tap the input settings button, then tap the monitor switch to turn monitoring on. Tap the switch again to turn monitoring off. You can add up to four stomp box effects and change the order of stomp boxes by dragging them to the left or right. To add a stomp box, tap an empty stomp box slot, then select a stomp box. To replace a stomp box, tap the stomp box you want to replace, then select a new one. To remove a stomp box, drag it down towards the bottom of the screen. To turn a stomp box on or off while it's present in your chain, tap the round on off button on the stomp box itself. If the small round LED, it's usually red, on the stomp box is lit, then it's turned on. To adjust the stomp box controls, drag or tap the knobs and switches to adjust the controls.
you can tune your attached guitar or bass using GarageBand's built-in tuner. To access it, tap the tuner button in the upper corner. Play an open string you want to tune, watching the tuner. The red horizontal lines show whether the string is too low, flat, or too high, sharp. When the string is in tune, the note name in the centre turns blue. When you're done, tap the tuner button again to close the tuner. To save your own custom amp sounds, modify an existing amp sound by changing the amp, the amp controls, adding or removing stomp boxes, etc. Tap the name at the top of the screen, then tap save. Type a name for your custom sound and then tap done. Thanks for watching to the end. This video is actually an excerpt from my full course, GarageBand for iPad and iPhone, The Ultimate Beginner's Guide. It's over four hours in total, has 50 plus lessons like this one, and is the best way to fast track learning everything you need to know to create amazing music with GarageBand. For more info on what's included, click the link down in the description. And to save 10% on the full price of the course, use the coupon code that's stuck down there as well. Thanks again for watching, and if you're wondering how GarageBand's stock amp and effects measure up to other third-party iOS guitar apps, watch this next. <laughs>